Hello everyone, my name is Jairaj and welcome to another video on REST APIs. So in previous tutorial we have seen the history of web and how this REST came into the picture. But every time we start discussion on web and APIs we have many similar words that always confuse us. And we let them pass but to understand it better let's have a look once. So in this tutorial we will discuss few terminologies that includes web services, web APIs and REST APIs. So let's get started but before that hit that like and subscribe button and share because our goal here is to provide knowledge to as much people as possible. So first question we have is what is web service? So let's understand individual words first. So services, it is a software or a piece of code that performs specific tasks or response to particular event as per request and it produces specific output. And this task could be anything from system event to human interaction. So for example, in code we have few tasks and uh, this task we need to do again and again. And for that we usually write methods or functions or block of code. And this uh, block of code takes some input and produce a specific output. And we can consider this piece of code as a service. So when it is just a piece of code it is a service and only available to your machine but to when it is available over the internet it becomes the web service so basically web service is available on different machine uh, we call it server and a client machine requests for this service over the internet and receives the output so by definition web service is a service or piece of code or a software which is available on the internet and uh, that have standardized communication protocols and information exchange uh, medium so we will talk about this request response and communication protocols in upcoming videos. So moving ahead, next question we have is what is web API? But first let's understand what is the API. So API stands for application programming interface. And most probably you guys know the meaning of this interface but let, still let me break it down. So interface means it is an edge or a boundary where two systems can meet and exchange the information. So for example, we have UI. UI is a user interface and probably you guys heard this uh, word where a human user can interact or communicate with the computer system. So there are many different types of interface but higher level meaning is the same. Interface is an age where two parties can meet and exchange the information. So now moving forward to API and the best terminology to understand API is the restaurant terminology. So think API as in a menu in the restaurant. You will have many options in the menu for dishes and you choose the dish and restaurant will make that dish for you. So you don't need to worry about anything. You don't need to know how they will prepare the dishes but they will do it for you. So same way API provides an operations and developer can use and finish their task quickly and efficiently. So for example, imagine you are developing some mobile application and that application uses Bluetooth. Now you have uh, two ways to achieve that. So first approach is we can write our own code from scratch that will interact with the hardware Bluetooth. And for you, you need to learn many things like hardware. You need to know about the security and its encryptions and uh, power management and so many things. And uh, also you need to be the expert in these fields because uh, there are so many different uh, scenarios you need to cover. Our second approach is mobile OS provides an API for that and you just use those APIs. So and those APIs are already written by the experts of the industry. So with the second approach development is much faster, efficient and without any trouble. And also there are many benefits of this approach such as it keeps consistency across the application and platform as well as it limits the hardware access to the APIs only. So this way API reduces so much work for developers and also it is good approach in terms of many ways. So that is the reason why we say APIs makes life easier for developers. So correct definition of API is like uh, it is a set of definitions and protocols that allows one application to communicate with another application. But when we talk about this API people usually think about the web APIs. But it is not always the case we can have API with local files too. So for example, so we can have jar files. Uh, jar file is a small program pre-written for development as a API. And in case of Java, we have stream APIs, we have collections and in other programming language also we have libraries. So these all are the APIs but not the web APIs. But you can use those uh, APIs to communicate with the other application or you can make your development faster. So now what is the web API? So similarly web service, web API is an API available on the web. In discussion ahead, API refers to web API. 
So now we know web service and web API and uh, it seems both are same because both serves as a means of communication for two machines over the internet, right? Then what is the difference between API and web service? So there are very small differences here. API acts as an uh, interface between two applications or internet. That means API call is like one application is calling method or function over the internet and additionally third party vendors can write these programs that interface with the other programs. Whereas web service, uh, it facilitates interaction of two machines over the internet. That means it is a design to have an interface that depicted in a machine processable format uh, specified in web service description language or we can call it VSDL. And web service can only use SOAP or SOAP, REST or XML RPC, whereas API can use anything. And that is why API is considered as lightweight and web service is considered as a heavyweight. So in short, all web services are API, but all APIs are not web services. So this was very minor difference between them two. But nowadays people use these terms interchangeably. So no need to worry much. And we just normally use REST API for that. And this leads us to our next question, what is the REST API? So now probably you got the meaning of REST API or RESTful APIs. So REST API is an API or web API that have architectural style of REST. So in previous tutorial, we have seen that Roy Fielding gave a six constraint of web architectural style to reduce the scalability problem. And those constraint was a client server, uniform interface, layer system, cache, statelessness and code on demand so api that fulfill all these six uh, constraint where code on demand is not mandatory and that we can consider as a rest api and another thing is uh, web api can follow any web architectural style so we can have multiple different kind of apis but the api that follows only these six constraints we can consider as a rest api so that's all for now in this tutorial and tell me about your views and questions in comment box and see you in next tutorial. Till then, like, share and subscribe. Keep learning. Thank you very much.